Missing was directed by Nick Johnson and Will Merrick. If you're unfamiliar with their names, it might also be a surprise to hear that they were the same duo that edited 2018's Searching, for which Missing is kind of served as spiritual successor to. It's practically a sequel. It's not connected story-wise or character-wise, but rather stylistically, as both films are in the subgenre of screen life. So the entire thing takes place on screens, computer screens, phone screens, security camera footage, etc. A lot of people love searching. So how does this film compare? Well, let's get cracking. Missing does something incredibly similar to Searching in that they both center on a missing person. This time it's a mother that goes missing and the daughter is forced to use all her skills with technology in order to track her down. In the process, she begins to unearth a lot of secrets about her own past which may serve to be a key to her future. Truth be told, it's been years since I've seen Searching in its entirety. I remember really liking it though. After all, it partially served as the main inspiration for my film, Secret Scene, which is also screen life. But because it's been several years since I last saw it, I can't really say for sure which of the two is better. But I wouldn't be surprised if the answer is missing, and I do have a couple of reasons for why I think that's true. But even so, if it's better or if it's worse, it's by mere fractions. The real answer is probably closer than you think. To put it lightly though, I really enjoyed Missing. Like, really, really. It may only be March, but it's at the top of my top 10 of 2023 right now, and it'll take a lot for it to get kicked off entirely. Let's just put it that way. This movie is ultimately what I consider to be the king of screen life. Having just made a screen life film myself, I don't think people really understand just how much work goes into even just a single frame of a movie like this. And the fact that it works so smoothly in this film and tells a story without the need for too much exposition is amazing. How it lingers on a photograph in order to elicit a feeling from the audience, it's pure gold. So even though I may be the only person that sees it this way, directing a movie like this is harder than you think. And this was immaculate. But here's why I think it might be better than Searching. First of all, Searching was a father looking for his missing kid. And even though performances might be better or, or even more believable in that, the fact that it's a kid using all this technology makes a lot more sense than an adult. That's just obvious. Kids know how to work around technology like they are actual wizards. And that's obvious here. She downright uses Facebook in a very stalkery manner in order to look for her mom. And what's more, it's... <laughs> It's actually kind of a very realistic way of stalking somebody too. Past that, I think the actual mystery at hand was fantastic. I thought I had it figured out pretty early on, but no, I mean, this film is filled to the brim with a ton of twists and turns that you never see coming. There's just, there's no way that anybody can call it predictable. It, it really just comes down to if you like the end or not, and I just found the entire ride a blast and a half. Now, if you're looking to find a film on how to do screen life right, this is it. I could literally go on, you know, an hour long tangent explaining why I'm so utterly impressed with the technical side of this film and how many layers are going on in whatever video editor that they're using. And my brain practically implodes just thinking about how long it would take to export a project like this, even a single minute. Just trust me when I say I find this style to be an art form and one that is really, really hard to get right. None of it is actually recorded on a computer screen. It's all impeccably recreated from scratch and in really high detail. So on all technical arguments, I actually find this perfect. Story-wise is really exciting, unpredictable, and paced pretty darn well. The performances were pretty good all around, though nothing award-winning. I can't sit here and tell you I've got this list of negatives because I don't. So, so with that being said, let's go ahead and break down my final score for missing, which I rated an A letter grade, final overall score of 90%, 90 out of 100 possible stars. I don't think that I'll ever venture back into the world of screen life. It's far too stressful, and the only people that I'll ever really understand the level of difficulty that goes into it will be the people in the production itself. That being said, if you guys have seen Missing, please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Do you prefer searching, or do you like Missing more? As for you to you guys know what to do, hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace!